Well, actually, uh, stem cells have just been the the research and the just what's been out there about them. It's always been amazing and and uh, intriguing to me as far as uh, the just the research and what's done is. I began to hear more about what stem cells were and and learn about those in um, in in my own education and and uh, uh, but what really has brought me around to to using them and to finding them uh, as a as a, a tool for my patients. My father and I both have been studying stem cells for quite some time. And uh, my father was looking at having to get knee replacement. We were talking about uh, trying to do alternative uh, therapies to try and keep him from having to get stem cell therapy. And right. uh, uh, he's an alternative medicine specialist as well. So we've been conversing back and forth, uh, both doing research into different things. And we use some other therapies here, laser therapy, and uh, some of these other things that are regenerative in their nature. And uh, we were just looking to try to find a, a way to uh, to help him. And, and stem cells kept on coming up. It was one of the big topics that kept coming up. We kept visiting about it, kept talking about it. Um, it was interesting. There was a lot of different stances as far as what different people were saying about how it right. was and then where the FDA stood on uh, the ability to do it in the United States and everything like that. And so um, we uh, we finally got the opportunity. We just, uh, we, after doing the research, we determined that the regenerative medicine process and especially stem cell therapy was just going to be the best um, choice for him if, uh, if we were trying to avoid surgery. And that's really ultimately what we're trying to do uh, was avoid surgery. He was, you know, he lettered in in uh, five different sports in college. I mean, in high school and played professional, uh, not professional, but college baseball. Had the opportunity to play professional baseball. Just worn his knees out over the years. Wow. And so we had to find something, but he didn't want to do surgery. Didn't want to have to do a knee replacement uh, from a lot of the risks. And so that's why so many patients end up coming to us anyway. But um, so we actually did stem cell injections for. Uh, and regenerative therapy for his knees, and and uh, they responded fantastic. Uh, he's he's kind of funny. He'll show patients. He'll jump up and down on his knees and say, "See, they're doing so much better." Uh, wow! Right? It's been a complete turnaround for him, and he's back exercising every day and, and uh, staying relaxed, running the stairs and everything. Those are things he's always done for years, which is why they got worn out in the first place. But he's back doing all that now, and uh, so it's exciting to st- and just seeing that. Uh, we both were kind of looking into that, but seeing the response he was able to get and actually just having a personal um, uh, experience with it uh, really excited us. And, and so we decided to move further into it and uh, and begin researching the possibility of doing it regularly for our patients, for mainly for joint rehabilitation, for joint uh, pain. That's really where our focus with the regenerative medicine and the stem cell therapy is, is to help to rebuild and, and restore the function of the joint. Uh, not just to get people out of pain. You can you can medicate enough to get someone out of pain, but that doesn't mean the the, the uh, functions improve. Doesn't right. mean they're healthier, they're better off. So we ultimately wanted to make sure the person is you know, better quality of life. They can do what they want to do, go out and begin to to enjoy life again. That's really what what, what led us to it and got us excited about. It. And the, the possibilities with stem cell therapy, the longevity of of the the correction with with stem cell therapy and what it actually is doing at the cellular level of of rebuilding tissues, what got us so excited about just what it could mean for each and every person, you know, 